some suggestions for people might be, you know, if you're just feeling like your health is suffering or something, you might want to just visualize or draw circles, which is whole, holistic, you know, the a life, you know, and just drawing circles and just see where it goes. Or maybe if you're feeling lonely or you're having relationship problems, just draw hearts or buy pictures of hearts or cards with hearts and put them on your fridge or, you know, these symbols are going to work on your unconscious. Um, uh, uh, even again, if you're not, that's why it's unconscious. You're not aware of it, you know, and, and then just start paying attention. Like, I don't know, maybe things are just start working better. I mean, like I, one of my favorite things to do found is walk around my apartment and look at my art, you know, and particularly when I'm really stressed out or sad or whatever, or feel disconnected. And, um, and if I'm really being a good girl, <laughs> I'll put on some nice music and just literally sit. And I'm, I'm not a big meditator. I will admit I'm not good at it, but I have other forms that get me in that place. Um, we won't get into it at the moment, but, um, but I, I'll, I, I'll just say I'll meditate while looking at it. And what I You're mean in is slow I'm just, states. Yeah. I'm just soft gazing in the receptive state and the flow or lo- allowing state and look at my art and let it work on me. And, uh, and again, if I pair it with music, it's really powerful. But for those that aren't painters or artists, it's really looking at anything that gives you an aesthetic appreciation and feeling good. And, you know, back to the name of my show, Awakening Aphrodite. Aphrodite is love and beauty. It's, it's, it's appreciating and feeling and resonating with something that makes you feel the higher vibration of love and beauty. That's what Aphrodite is. So when you surround your life, your environment and your home and with things that make you feel good when you look at them or smell good, or did you just like that pretty candle or a flower, it doesn't matter. You're, you're nurturing your soul. You're giving yourself that good medicine that you need. So that's what the art has done for me. 